on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Air Force, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Thank you. Thank you very much. Friends and family, on behalf of my beautiful daughter, our beautiful daughter Jolene, and her son Joe, who have come from Florida, and Hugh's brother Dan, who drove all the way from California, and my brother Bob and Rini, my brother who came from Florida, we want to thank you for coming here today to honor our dear Hugh, Bob. I'd like to invite all of you to our home afterwards for food and refreshment. And for those of you that have not been there, our marina friends, I want to let you know that our home is like a shrine to Hugh, because he built it. He designed the house, he laid every stone wall that you will see, and he redid the stone wall along the road. He built both the decks on the front and the back completely by himself, and he designed and made goldfish pond in the backyard. So it's a beautiful legacy that he's left all of us. And for those of you who may not know, I want you to know that he designed this monument for the four of us. As you can see, it's a bench, and it has all four of our names on it, and a picture of the four of us. And he designed that. I want to tell you all a short story before we go. Just before Hugh died, I asked him, some of you know this, but some of you don't. Just before he died, I asked him if he'd be my guardian angel, and he said, sure. And I said, I want you to give me a sign that you're with me and that you're with our wonderful son, Bob. And he said, okay. Well, the day he died, after the funeral home had come to get his body, I went down to the boat because, as you all know, I have no family here. But I have a marina family, and they are just like family to me. So I went down there, and just as I arrived, this beautiful osprey landed on the top of the mast of our boat. And then he stayed there all evening, and he stayed all night looking towards Bill and Brenda's boat that I slept on. But the real unusual thing is, we never see ospreys around the boats. They, you know, they stay to their nest. We've never seen them around their boats. Same thing that Sunday, the next day, I went with friends, same friends, to a beach party. And as we came back at 7.15, which is a little different time the night before, someone comes running up the dock and says, Sharon, you're not gonna believe this, but we looked all day for the osprey, and he just landed this minute when you came, at the top of your boat, at the top of the mast. And he, again, stayed all evening and looked our direction. And when you come to our house, our dear friend Carl painted an osprey. And like I said, I will see Hugh's face in every sunset and every full moon, because those were the things we enjoyed most in life. And in this picture that Carl painted on the piano, is a little sunset and in the distance you can see Hugh's face. He did an absolutely fabulous job. Thank you. So our dear friend Glenn Richardson, where is he? Glenn? Glenn would like to say a few words. Hi Sharon, so where are we there? Is this a video? Yes. Uh, we're at I'm Key Largo at Riptide wow. RV Park and Bobby's here to join us for the weekend. And it's February 7th.